Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I've posted and I'm really excited to get back into posting videos. My previous studio was flooded out and I've unfortunately lost that. So I've built this new one, which I'm really proud of. I'm really pleased with. So I hope you enjoy the journey with me into my new channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Filex SPS Filament, a brand that is proudly based in South Africa. First of all, let's talk about what SPS filament is and how it differs from other popular filaments like PLA and PETG. SPS stands for styrene butadiene styrene and it's a type of thermoplastic polymer that is known for it to be strong, flexible and durable. It's an ideal choice for a wide range of applications from prototyping to end use parts. One of the benefits of SPS filaments over PLA and PETG is its improved impact resistance. This makes it a great choice for, product, for applications where the finished product will be uh, subjected to stress and wear. Uh, SPS filament has also been, uh, is also more flexible than PLA, which makes it ideal for creating flexible parts for, or for a product uh, that needs to bend or give slightly. SPS filaments prints uh, best at temperatures between 210 and 330 degrees Celsius and a bed temperature of about 70 degrees Celsius. The part cooling fan is set to off or very low. I use 20, 220 degrees Celsius with the fan off and the results speak for itself. Uh, the filament is very forgiving and extremely easy to print with. The bed adhesion is, is okay and there are a few issues there. The filament is not too sensitive to temperature variations or small changes in print speed and is very stable. Here are some of my favorite examples of Filex and then we can also talk about a few of the shortcomings. So I love Filex. I love printing in it. The finish looks amazing. It's absolutely incredible. But uh, one of the big issues I had when I was printing this bench sheet, the quality looks amazing. This, it looks like a, a almost like a, a uh, injection molded part. The, the layer lines are almost not visible. Uh, it really came out great, but overhangs are a problem. Overhangs will will droop because of the low um, the low fan speed, so it could droop a little bit. If you increase the fan speed, it might set quickly, but then the layer lines will be more prominent. So you might be able to in your code to adjust your your fan speeds at certain times. Um, the problem with Filex and supports. Supports are really difficult to break off. They don't sit well, um, well on the part. Well, they, they adhere too well to the part. So it's really difficult to break them off. Um, I accidentally printed this part with supports inside and it was impossible to get them out. Absolutely impossible. I reprinted this part without supports and I had a perfect print. An absolutely impressive, beautiful print. This is going to be going on to my end of V2, which I'm modifying to be a direct extrusion. This part here that I printed is for my coffee machine. Uh, this came out beautifully again, absolutely stunning print, but uh, this is the adapter to my portal filter from my coffee machine, which you could have seen in previous videos. Uh, the old one from the PLA is starting to get a little bit old and parts are breaking off and it is getting a bit old. So I decided to print a new one in SPS. But then thought, wait a minute, let me do a bit of research and found out that SPS is not food safe. So be very careful about that. It is not food safe. And uh, I wouldn't print parts that had any contact with food, even the coffee machine, uh, you know, anything like that. So, but where the shines is in my boxes. These boxes that I've printed for my Raspberry Pis to run my printers are incredible. They are beautifully put together. It, if you, if when you put this together into the little uh, standoffs that are inside here, it clicks in really nice and neatly, easily, and it holds well. Then when you put this part in, this one actually slides in. It has a little bit of a jigsaw puzzle to get it right, and you'll hear a satisfying click, and it holds itself together to the other. Uh, part that is also SPS really well and it comes out so clean so neat really beautiful prints I'm mean, super super impressed with with uh, SPS especially Filex SPS so let's talk about Filex SPS filament uh, specifically we had the opportunity to test out the filament and I've been really impressed with the quality 
it prints smoothly and consistently with minimal stringing and minimal warping. There is some warping, but it's not too bad. The finished parts are strong and have a nice professional finish, as you can see. What really sets Flex apart is a proudly made in South Africa. Uh, this is a big deal because it means you're supporting a local business and helping to stimulate the economy, which we need big time at the moment. And with a high quality of Flex filament, you can be conf confident that you're getting a product that is on par with the best on the market. Uh, this stuff impresses me. In conclusion, Flex SPS filament is a top-notch choice for anyone looking for a strong, flexible and durable filament that is also proudly made in South Africa. Its improved impact resistance and flexibility make it a great choice for a wide range of applications and the high quality of filament ensures that you get professional, uh, professional grade prints every time. Thanks for watching guys, really appreciate it. If you have any questions about Philex SPS filament or 3D printing in general, leave a comment below and we'll do our best to get back to you and answer them. Please subscribe to my channel. I am back and I'm going to be coming back with a vengeance. I'm going to try and make videos. Let me know if there's any videos that you want me to make, anything that you're interested in that I can help with. Um, I've got some 3D printer reviews coming along the way. I finally got myself a, uh, a Prusa, which I'm really chuffed with. It's a second hand Prusa, trying to get it to work properly and, and consistently, but we'll get there going. So guys, keep watching, support the channel, please. And uh, support me on Patreon if you can. And Keep yourself safe and look after others. Be good, be good, uh, be well, and God bless.